Now we're going to go over here. We're going to see what the computer has. This seems like it's fast. It's actually not that fast. What we're going to do also is I'll oh, get it. Get him. As you wish. Sir. See? Look at our ability to micro. Look at our ability to micro things while we're making things. See? Oh, now we're back. Now we can play again. We go back. We double tap five. Bam. We make another unit. We go back to here. We're looking at the fight again. Look how cool that is. We're not moving super, super fast. You might think so. It might feel like it for a little while. We're not moving that fast. We're just making things as an opportunity to make things comes I out. So. Oh, no, no. You return things to the gold. If possible, you yes. always want to be building with uh, a unit that doesn't have gold. Since you're just, uh, I wouldn't say wasting time, but you're not taking advantage of the money that that guy as is trying to give so. you. Like, who, who wouldn't want the money that the guy is trying to give him, right? Yes. All right, so we're going to go in and attack. Ooh. Okay. So we're yes. going to back off because he has towers. Then we're going to go Q. Yes. Sir. Bam. Now we have more units. Now look at the advantage of this. We're not actually wish, moving sire. that quickly. This isn't even a real strategy. I mean, that I know of. Wish, maybe sir. some other people know of. But uh, it doesn't, you know, it's As not. Wish, sire. It doesn't matter. The point I'm trying to get is that it doesn't matter yes. if the strategy in this case, which incorporates micro, macro, and decision making, it doesn't matter how sound our strategy, as in our overall plan, is, if we don't have the ability to effectively communicate to the computer, since that's what ultimately is taking the, the instructions from us, if it doesn't know what our plan is because we can't input it quickly enough, it doesn't matter what our strategy is. For example, right now, uh, he's not yes. expanding. So you know what? When I go to barracks and I attack and he hasn't expanded, I'm yes. going to be the guy who saves up some money to build a castle. What am I, I doing now? I'm style. expanding. Why? Because, yeah, we could just keep making units off of two barracks. But since he's that not expanding, so. we're go this is part decision-making. We're going to go ahead and expand. And that's going to give us more money with which to make more decisions. And because we're expanding, we're going to prioritize workers. We're going to stop making units for a little while. In fact, we're even going to see wish, if we can do sir. some damage with the units that we have. Why? Certainly because so. we can. Look how many units we have. If you look at your games and you're not winning a lot of them because you just don't seem to have as much stuff as the other guy, then a, that might be, uh, I'm saying might, I don't know for sure, but it might be an indication that you can work on some part of your macro. As I said, some part of your hotkeys and your control groups, which will allow you to move faster, or maybe it's some part of your, uh, instead of your ability to build, maybe it's some part of your ability to control, which is the control groups, or perhaps it's some ability for you to spend efficiently. You know, if you don't have a lot of money, if you don't have a lot of units, but you have a lot of money, you can always work on making that money translate into more units, more upgrades, more structures. Bam, look at that. Look at that. If the computer could type GG, he would be typing GG right now. We didn't even know this was a strategy. We came up with our two barracks expand and using our hotkeys, our control groups, and remembering to spend efficiently. And remembering also to go ahead and to just constantly, in addition to spending our money, expand when we get the opportunity so we can make even more money. That's right. We're like that girl at the vending machine. We got money. We are doing good. All right. So that's actually it. Here, we're going to watch this castle die because it, it's actually interesting to me. I want to see this castle go down. I want to see the results of our efforts. A hard-earned macro. Ah, get it. Look at this. Look at this. I'm looking at this fight. Zero E. Right here. I just made a worker. I didn't even have to move away from what I was seeing. And he's about to lose. And then I'm going to sign out. Bam! We are victorious!
and that is just a small sample of what you can do either against the computers or even against other people if you just focus on the three basics of macro, the first part of strategy. If you focus on your control groups and hotkeys so you can move around faster and communicate what you want to have done. If you focus on spending efficiently so that your money isn't high and you can translate your money that you're receiving into units. And if you expand so that when you are, so you can execute your plan of spending efficiently by by gaining more resources, I promise you, you will see an increase in not only number of wins, but also in APM, that little tab that shows up after the end of the game. Like here. Bam! 41! Alright guys, until next time, I'm signing out as the Tana Circus. Have fun!